Hi, I'm Bob, and welcome to Between the Sheets, where we look at Microsoft Excel and related technologies. You probably know you can type text directly in a shape on a worksheet, but did you know you can also have a shape display the result of a formula? I'm being very careful with my words here, so let's take a look and see how it works. Here's a typical small worksheet that has some formulas. I'm going to go draw a simple shape. So I go up to the Insert tab on the menu bar, I'll go to Shapes, and I'll just choose whatever's here, like a rounded corner rectangle, and I'll draw this shape, put in a lighter color to make it easier to see what we're doing. And I said a moment ago that shapes can have the result of a formula, but I didn't say a shape can hold a formula because it can't. Let me show you the difference. So I have the shape selected and I'm going to try to put a sum function in there, right? So if I do something, if I say like equals sum, open the parenthesis, and now maybe I want to drag over here like that. Well, you know, nothing's really happening. Or if I go back in there and I say, okay, well, let me try editing it manually. And I'll say, all right, let's try uh, B5 through D5 like that. Well, if I hit enter, it just gives me a new line, or if I click out here. So you can see right off the bat, it isn't working. It just treats the formula as text. So let me just go remove it. I'll select it and delete it. Here's what I can do instead. Let me put in another shape. Choose this kind of rectangle instead. What I can do is, with it selected, I can go up into the formula bar, put an equal sign like I'm writing a formula, and then let's say grab that total. Notice it puts it in and it's an absolute reference. Doesn't really make a difference if it's absolute or relative. I can remove those dollar signs if I want. Hit enter, it gives me a result. So let's kick this up a notch and I'll show you a practical example for this feature. Let me just delete the shape. And now I'm gonna go back to the insert tab on the ribbon bar. And you see next to shapes is icons. So I'm gonna click that. It brings up some stock images. I'm gonna search for shirts. I'll insert the t-shirt with a solid fill. This won't work on the outline objects. So let's just insert that. Oh, I'll drag it up here. Now I can't put text inside an icon, but what I can do is I can turn an icon into a shape and I do that with a right click menu. So right click, two finger tap, whatever you call it. And from the pop-up menu, I'm gonna choose convert to shape. So I want this a little bigger and it stretches in proportion if I hold down the shift key. Now I want four of them, so I'm gonna make three copies. I'm gonna hold down the control key in Windows or the option key on the Mac and drag to the right. Also hold down the shift key to make sure it's dragging straight. I'll copy this one down and now I'm gonna copy it across. Good, so now I've got four of them. So the first three, I'm gonna fill with red, green, and blue. So I'm going to click that one. I'll go up to the paint bucket and I'm going to make that red. This one is green. I'll make it a light shade. I'll make this a light shade of blue. I'm going to leave this as black. So now I'm going to click this one here, click up in the formula bar, equals, hit the red total, click. Now it's not really aligned the way I want. It's aligned to the middle, but I want it aligned horizontally center. So I'm going to click that. And for some reason, I need to click that twice. And that's both in Windows and the Mac. I found that to happen. It's already centered vertically and that's selected. So that's fine. Now let's go to the green shirt equals the green shirt total. Enter. Same thing. Let's click that one twice. Let's go here equals there and the blue shirt total. Click this one here twice. Now with the black one, we've got a little problem that we're going to fix. So when I go and fill that, so I'm going to say equals, there's the black shirt. Well, we have black text on a black shirt. So first let me just center that. But now what I got to do is I double click. And when I double click, you notice I get a text cursor and you see the text mouse pointer. So I'm going to select all. Windows, I'll press Control A on the Mac, Command A, and now I can go and make that white. And now that's readable. 
And because these are results of formulas, they update. So let's say the red shirt changes. So maybe the, I'll make that something like that. And you see that changes and the green and that changes and the blue and the black. So I think that's simple, but it's a pretty cool feature. This would also be useful if you're making a diagram or enhancing a chart. So be sure to check out my course, Excel 365 for Busy People. Until next time, my name is Bob, and this has been Between the Sheets.